Hi everyone, this is Pinkie Fox 6 here, AP Action, and in this video is going to be a DIY of glitter converse. Now, I decided to take mine and revamp them, but you can also find some at Target, Walmart, or even the thrift store. Also, this is an easy, fun, affordable way. A lot of the materials I found or have, I have purchased at a thrift store. Make sure that you have some paper underneath because glitter's going to go everywhere. And also, if you do do the Converse, I do recommend the white. But if you don't have white, I will show you what to do. So, the materials you'll need is a shoe of your choice. Also, some glitter. I decided to have red because I wanted mine to look like Dorothy's when we had suppers. Found this at my local thrift store for less than a dollar, so don't forget to check the thrift store in the craft corner. Also, some acrylic paint and red. This is for the base, so this is optional, but this is going to make the glitter stand out. Also, some Mod Podge and matte. And this is also optional, but I decided to have some white paint to make the sole of my shoes stand out. A paper plate. And I found this around my apartment, but it would be fun. A paint palette. If you don't have them, the paper plate will work as well. Also, some paint brushes. You can use a sponge brush, but I decided to use large, medium, and small ones to get every coat of my shoe. A little bowl of water and a grocery bag. So you're going to take the shoelaces off your shoes. Then you're going to take your grocery bags and put them inside your shoe. This way it can mold it and also keep the glitter from going inside. But let's face it, glitter always gets everywhere. So then you're going to take about a quarter size of your paint if you're going to do the base. Dip your brush in water and start peeling away. The reason why you put it in water is it helps go on the shoe a lot better. And then to get in those tiny corners, just use your medium or small brush. I was trying to paint my all-star and I even painted it white later, but I decided I didn't want to do that. And that's okay if you decide to change it up. So just keep this process up and keep going. And you can either paint over your shoe holes or not. Later on, like I said, I decided to paint over it because I liked it better. Let that set for 10 to 20 minutes. And then after it's dried a little bit, take your white paint and start painting this on your shoe. I was trying to keep the black rim, but it just wasn't working, so I decided to paint the whole thing on. I think it looks really good. It really makes that red pop out even more and almost look brand new. And I've had these shoes for six years. <laughs> Same thing, let it set for 10 to 20 minutes. Then take your large brush and the mosh pods and just start putting it all over. Now don't forget it will be white, but it'll turn clear later. And you're just going to put it all over your shoe. Then you're going to take your glitter and put a heavy amount on it, all over the shoe. Make sure to cover your whole shoe with the Mod Podge. If you need to do more layers, just put more Mod Podge on top of the glitter and you can sprinkle it or dab it on. I just kind of put it in little spots I thought might need more. Then let it set in the box overnight. And then the next day, just take some hairspray and spray it around as many times as you want. I think these look really awesome. I would walk down the yellow brick road in these shoes. There's no place like home.